grade threes. Today we are going to be talking about multiplication and we're going to take a look at one of the first strategies we use when we start trying to solve multiplication on our own. Today we're going to take a look at our repeated addition strategy. We know that multiplication is a number of groups of equal things, so repeated addition is a great way to try and solve it. So let's take a look at our first equation and try and turn it into a repeated addition. So let's try 5 times 3. So when we look at this, it's really important to remember that that means we have 5 groups with 3 things in them. So 5 groups of 3. So if I'm going to change this into repeated addition, that means I need to have 5 threes. So it'll look like this. 1, 2, 3, Four, five. Then I just have to do my addition to get my answer. So 3 plus 3 is 6, plus another 3 is 9, plus another 3 is 12, and another 3 is 15. So we get our answer. Five groups of three things. Let's try another one. This time, let's try 6 times 2. So this time we know we have six groups with two things in them. So we need six twos. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now hopefully this is starting to remind you of something. This is a lot like skip counting. So with this, we just need to go two, four, six, 8, 10, 12 to get our answer. Repeated addition really is just skip counting written down. So that's why it's so important to learn how to skip count by our twos, threes, fours, and fives. So now I am going to put one on the board for you to try. Pause the video, give it a go, write your repeated addition and find your answer, then hit play to see if we got the same answer. The one I'm going to get you to try times three. So hit pause, give it a try, and then come back and see how you did. Okay, welcome back. So when I look at this, I know I have four groups of three, so I need four threes. So I'll write those down. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to use my skip counting to help me solve this at the bottom. So three, six, nine, 12. So my answer to 4 times 3 is 12. So now I'm going to send you down to the attached PowerPoint to this video and I'm going to get you to do a little matchup activity. So you're going to see the multiplication equation as well as the repeated addition and I'm going to get you to match the two. Good luck with that and we'll see you next time. Bye!